What's up, crew? So I am now in Pennsylvania. Uh, I was just at the Montour Reserve Fossil Pit. Uh, looked at a bunch of stuff online. I mean, seemed like a place to go. Uh, I, I grew up right around this area. I uh, heard all kinds of stuff like, oh, go out there, you'll find fossils. I just spent about an hour and a half out there and found what might be one. <laughs> Uh, I won't know until I get back. I, I kept a few rocks, though, just things I want to clean up and see what we got there. But it's out in the sun. I was getting hot. So now I'm going to go to my secret spot to dig for fossils back in Danville. Uh, and the stuff where I'm going now, it's right on top. And it's all over the place. So excuse me, where I was at the Montour Preserve was Ordovician, uh, about 480 million years old fossils, dirt, rocks. It's like a uh, shell, siltstone. Uh, where I'm going now is more shell, but I believe it's Silurian, which is about 420, 420 million years. It might be, might be a little bit off. Uh, yeah, 420 million years ago. If that's what it is. But I'm gonna go back there. It's, it's down by the, down by the river, and I'm gonna dig around. I think I might find a way to get up in the hill a little bit. And I'm just curious how, how high up in elevation these. Uh, these fossils down here are. I've been digging in this spot since I was a little kid. My grandfather took me there. So I know what's there, I just don't know the extent of it. Uh, yeah, it's a nice, nice day up here. It's uh, at nighttime, it turns into flannel weather. I mean, it's September in Pennsylvania, so. so right now it's 75 degrees. It feels a lot hotter than that out there. But, all right, I'm, uh, Passing through Jersey Town, so I'll get this thing back on when I get uh, get to my secret place, and then when I get back and, and clean up, I'll show you what I got. And all right, see y'all soon. All right, so I made it to my spot, my secret spot. Um, let me get out of the car. So, I don't know if you can see it. Behind me right now is the Susquehanna River, North Branch. About, so now it's in front of me. Um, about 10 miles downstream is the confluence between that and the West Branch. Um, also about mm, maybe a half a mile downstream you have uh, sorry I'm slow I'm thinking about all this there's a little tiny runoff stream that comes down off of these hills behind me and it's called Toby Run and that goes in you know, flows into the water. It's called Toby Runs. I guess there was a Indian Native American uh, village there, community, and Toby was like the head chief. And my grandfather, uh, he worked for the for the town, <laughs> but he had cleared all that. Uh, trees and stuff out back in the 19 I don't know 50 60 70 somewhere in there and found all kinds of arrowheads and you know stuff of showed showed their living there um I never got a chance to go down there and dig it was a cornfield when I was a kid and we used to get in trouble for going in there and stealing corn for various purposes um 
And then they converted it all into soccer fields. So I might go down there and shovel test some areas. Maybe not today, but sometime in the future. Um, I just want to find an arrowhead. But where we are now, so this, these hills behind me got a railroad tracks. And you see the tracks. Very bright. We got the tracks back there. They kind of cross over the road here. So now they're on the downside of the hill. Everybody's out their bikes today. I'm jealous. But I'm going to be going right here. <laughs> so I'll just, you don't even really have to dig much. I'm probably going to take a hammer my brush but uh everything's right on top when i get over there I'll, I'll record some of it um i'd like to get up to the top so i'm gonna flip this thing around here and i cannot flip while this is recording so okay Yeah, I'm going to be right over here, and I'd like to get up up higher. I don't think I'm going good at it going to, at least not today. Um, I don't want to dig down in here because you start to weaken the integrity of that mountain, pulling out too many rocks, stuff's going to fall. It's not safe, but over there is good pretty broken up there's some bigger slabs down further uh, I'm not gonna touch those just a loose shale over here um, maybe this little this little dugout right here too I might check that out hopefully all the little snakies are not over there not too bad with the bugs today um, but all right I'm going to walk over there with my stuff and show you some, what I believe is Silurian period fossils. So we're going to have some brachiopods, uh, maybe a trilobite, I don't know. I can't remember if I've ever found one of those, but definitely get a lot of brachiopods and there's something else that I can never figure out what it is and I hope I find an example of it today. Cause I'm gonna go find out, but all right, going over. Bye. All right, so I just walked over here to the spot right where the uh, road crossed the tracks, and I don't know if you can see that. I can't. Oh, I get its glare, but uh, yeah, I just came up and right there's some brachiopods, some good examples. That one's nice. It's in pretty good shape. But I'm going to keep uh, looking. There's some better specimens. A lot of these shell rocks have just like a mass amounts in one rock. But well, maybe I'll find a trilobite and uh, probably not. I just want to find some better specimens to take back. Okay, then keep on hunting. All right, so you can see up above me the uh, different layers of all of the shell. I love to go digging that, but <laughs> that looks very unstable. Over here, I'll get up there one of these days. Um, check that out. I mean, all this came from that anyways, but... I'm going to work my way down this way. i got two pretty decent specimens so far of uh, some brachiopods. I'm going to go down and try to find this other fossil I've been looking for and trying to figure out. So, I will uh, talk to you soon. So, I made it up this far. <laughs> Not exactly in the most stable seat, but I did find a fairly safe flat spot to sit on even though it shifts every once in a while but 
Um, there's so many fossils you can see right here on the surface, but I want to show you this. So, uh, here's a piece of rock that broke off. We have this crack right here. So, open it up. And there's a bunch of little fossils. Bunch more brachiopods. And I'm starting to think trilobites bites are a myth like Bigfoot and aliens and and such. Because I, I can't find one. Uh, yeah, the only thing I'm finding right now are these brachiopods. Um, if that is it. And now I'm just thinking about how it's going to suck getting back down. <laughs> Go down to my butt like a kid on a slide, I guess. It's pretty steep. The cars driving by that are going this way like i can't even see the passenger seat i'm just looking right down on their uh on the top of their roof but i'm in the shade there's some people on jet skis out in the river i can't see them that's what that sound is if you can hear it uh, all right i'm gonna keep on looking and Hopefully get some variation here, some, uh, some, uh, yeah, something other than brachiopods. If not, it's what we get. Still pretty cool find. I mean, talking four, was it 420 million years ago, I guess. But I always thought it was interesting. It's like I grew up just, I don't know, what, a mile down that way? And it's like, what, you know, what went on here before me? Long, long time ago. Just interesting. I'm getting dirty. But that's cool, because I'm out in nature. That's all that matters. I should go up there and see what we got. I'm basically there. Yeah, let's try it. I'll get back to you. So I was over there. Whew. I don't know if you've seen earlier when I was... Looking up. That's not just car doors. Looking up hill, there's that dead tree right here. So I tried going up. And I decided it's best to go sideways. It kind of flattened out right here, so. Uh, I left some of my tools in my bag over there. I gotta get back to get it. Um, yeah, this this shale is kind of hard to maneuver. You got all the loose stuff on top, so you take like one step and you slide back four. If you try to grab anything, it just breaks somebody leaving okay all right so i don't know how much any of this stuff has been touched most of it looks like natural weathering i'm gonna crack a few like it's a nice big one here it's got a good line on it i'm gonna whack that they're still up here you just don't see as many on the surface i think it's just because it hasn't been disturbed much I'm guessing all this was probably blasted out or excavated in one way or another. Put in the road and the tracks. Like I said the river's right there. So, all right, back to digging. So I cracked it open. This piece came off and then I split that into 
And I found this, and I think this actually answered one of my questions. This is the outside of a brachiopod, the, the outside of a shell. These are made from the inside. Might be wrong. If anyone knows, please correct me. You see it here, so the outside, and then smooth. There's like no anything on it. I don't know. I tried to find stuff on the internet, and the internet's let me down. So, okay, Whew. okay, so. I was up here. Whew, that's a long ways down. I basically slid down on my feet. Now I got rocks in my shoes. Would have been so much easier with boots. All right, I think I'm done. So I got to plug my phone in the car. It's at 2%. Um, I'm good the cord reaches out this far. So there's the river. We were upstream, so about a half a mile maybe, and over that way. Um, as, as I'm looking, like I'm facing upstream right now. So I came back to this place. Just to my left is the soccer fields that I was talking about that used to be cornfields, that used to be where the natives around here lived, some of them. So I'm gonna see if there's a somewhat decent path back here and just go kind of shovel test some areas. I got this filled dirt here. I don't know where this is from. It's from here. Just dig through that. But I don't think it is. Who knows? It looks kind of swampy back there right now. So I don't know how far I'm gonna get. But I'm gonna let this charge. I'm gonna go over there and just kind of poke around and see what I find. Yeah, so I just walked back that path and it is swampy back there. Um, and with that was mosquitoes. Um, they were just about as bad as Paris Island sand fleas. But not quite as bad. Nothing's that bad. Um, yeah, I had looked at this area before where I wanted to dig is actually just here to my left, and that's the part that's covered in water. Um, these piles of dirt that was in front of me actually looks like some tore up road. It must have just brought here and dumped. In fact, this spot right where I'm sitting used to be like a dump people would throw their big uh, appliances and stuff, stoves and refrigerators and stuff, washers, dryers. Um, they cleaned it up a little bit, a lot. But yeah, we'll be back here in October and, sorry, I got, I got skeeters all over me still. Red Cross would be jealous for much blows they took from me. But, um, all right, I'm going to go look again up the hill. I broke my seatbelt. Um, I got a dash cam a few weeks ago for my birthday. And I meant to bring it so I could set it up. And I forgot it along with a few other things. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to go follow that Toby run up over the hill and see if there's anything interesting that I can get to. I think a lot of it's posted land or state land. The uh, state mental institution hospital is right over there. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go check it out. Um, there's nothing cool or stopping. I'm gonna go back and clean up some fossils and I think I'm gonna go buy some steak for dinner tonight because I deserve steak. All right, out. All right, I am back in North Carolina, and there's the new puppy. 
I still got all my dirty clothes and stuff in here from the trip. But let me uh let me go through here and show you what I did find. They had this piece of shell. Um, nothing real special about this. No, I didn't see any um, fossilized fossils in here. But just these lines were kind of interesting. Very straight. I don't know just part of the formation process of the rock or something made those. That's that. Um, this bag over here is from when I was at the Montour Preserve. I won't bore you with all the finds, but this one, I might get a good look at this thing through a magnifying glass, but see these lines here, I think might be something, they look a little bit like something, I don't know, I'm going to look a little bit closer at it. I've picked up all those from the preserve, and that's all I got. It's that one. And here's from, uh, let me open this. Another place. We got this nice little specimen here. Got that. It's a thin, fragile piece. A lot of this is fragile. And this is one I had room and break open. I grabbed the, the rock. It was cracked, but not falling apart yet. And I brought it back and let her smack it open. But yeah, that's, that's all I found that day. It was just these brachiopods. There's a little, little one right there at the corner. That's another one that she broke open. So, that is that. I'll get around and clean as I came back. Uh, let's see, today is Friday. I came back on Monday, Labor Day. Tuesday, I had a tooth pulled. I've just been sitting around feeling sorry for myself since then. So I'll get around to cleaning them up a little bit better and making them nice. But that is it. And we'll see you on the next adventure. Bye.